Dear astronauts, I'm very happy to have this extraordinary opportunity to converse with you during your mission. I'm especially grateful to be able to speak to so many of you as both crews are present on the space situation of this time. Humanity is experiencing a period of extremely rapid progress in the fields of scientific knowledge and technical applications. In a sense, you are our representatives, spearheading humanity's exploration of new spaces and possibilities for our future, going beyond the limitations of our ever everyday existence. We all admire your courage, as well as the discipline and commitment with which you prepared yourselves for this mission. We are convinced you are inspired by noble ideals and that you intend placing the results of your research and endeavors at the disposal of all humanity and for the common good. This conversation gives me the chance to express my own admiration and appreciation to you and to also to collaborate in making your mission possible and to add my heartfelt encouragement to bring it to a safe and successful conclusion. But this is a conversation, so I must not be the only one doing the talking. I'm very curious to hear you tell me about your experiences and your reflections. If you don't mind, I would like to ask, to ask you a few questions. First question, from the space situation, you have a very different view of the Earth. You fly over different continents and nations several times a day. I think it must be obvious to you how we all live together on one earth and how absurd it is that we fight and kill each one. I know that Mark Kelly's wife was a victim of a serious attack and I hope her health continues to improve. When you are contemplating the earth from up there, so you ever wonder about the way nations and people live together down here, about how science can contribute to the cause of peace Well, thank you for uh, uh, the kind words, Your Holiness, and thank you for mentioning my wife, Gabby. Um, it's a very good question. We, we, we fly over most of the world, and you don't see borders, uh, but at the same time, we realize that that people fight with each other, and there's a lot of violence in this world, and it's really an unfortunate thing. Usually, uh, you know, people fight over many different things. As we're seeing in the Middle East right now, it's somewhat for democracy in certain areas, but usually people fight for resources. Uh, and it's interesting in space, uh, you know, on, on Earth, uh, often people fight for energy. Uh, in space, we use solar power and we have fuel cells on the space shuttle, but it's it, on the space station, it, it's, um, you know, the science and the technology that we put into the space station to develop a solar power capability gives us pretty much unlimited amount of energy. And if those technologies could be adapted more on Earth, we could possibly reduce some of that violence. My second question. One of the teams you often return to in my discourses concerns the responsibility we all have towards the future of our planet. I recall the serious risks facing the environment and the survival of future generations. Scientists tell us we have to be careful, and from an ethical point of view, we must develop our conscience as well. From your extraordinary observation point, how do you see the situation on Earth? Do you see science or phenomena to which we need to be more attentive? Well, Your Holiness, it's a, it's a great honor to speak with you. And you're right, it really is a, an extraordinary vantage point we have up here. On the one hand, we could see how indescribably beautiful the planet that we have been given is. But on the other hand, we can really clearly see how fragile it is. Now, just the atmosphere, for instance. The atmosphere, when viewed from space, is paper thin. And to think that this paper thin layer is all that separates every living thing uh, from the vacuum of space and all that protects us is really a sobering thought. And, you know, it's, it seems to us that it's, it's just incredible to, to view the Earth hanging in the blackness of space and to think that, you know, we are all on this together, riding through this beautiful, fragile oasis through the universe. And it, 
really fills us with a lot of hope to think that, you know, all of us on board this incredible orbiting space station that was built by the many nations of our international partnership, you know, to accomplish this tremendous feat in orbit, I think, you know, that just shows that by working together and, and by cooperating, you know, we could overcome many of the problems that face our planet. We could uh, solve many of the challenges that face the inhabitants of our planet. And it really is a wonderful place to live and work, and it's a wonderful place to view our beautiful Earth. Dear astronauts, I thank you warmly for this wonderful opportunity to meet and dialogue with you. You have helped me and many other people to reflect together on important issues that regard the future of humanity. I wish you the very best for your work and for the success of your great mission at the service of science, international collaboration, authentic progress, and for peace in the world. I will continue to follow you in my thoughts and prayers, and I willingly impart my apostolic blessing. <laughs>